But just for fun, I've made a little list here of some of the, what they call transpersonal experiences that many people do have. So I'm going to just read off of, on this little list here. And if anybody has had any of these experiences, just raise your hand up in the air. We get a little idea that these things are not so foreign to us, but are really quite uh, possible. Here is the first question. How many in the audience have ever had an out-of-body experience? Look at the hand. Lots of people have. And it's very real. It is an actually leaving of the body. What does it mean? It means that your body is only something you inhabit, and that the real you is quite capable of going through space from one dimension to another. You're limited by three dimensions, but when you go further up, you have what is called multi-dimensions, and that's the way it works. The second one, let's see how this one. Have you ever been aware of the consciousness of other people? Now, that's really a tricky one. Lots of hands. In other words, you're aware of your own consciousness, but you're aware also of other people. As hypnotherapists, and this is based on definite fact, if you are able to put yourself in that space of the other person's consciousness, you know without any consultation whatsoever exactly where to go with your client. Another one to ask you, have you ever been aware of the consciousness in plants? In flowers. Look at all the hands. A friend of mine, Marcel Bogle, passed on some while ago, a senior scientist for IBM, made quite a study of plants, and uh, he seemed to feel as though certain people have very definitely an energy, which they call one with a green thumb. And plants thrive under their, let's say, tutorship. Other persons, they tend to wither and die. Also, they respond to music. Plants, apparently, according to his research, was simply that they like classical music, but they are very distasteful towards rock and roll. <laughs> not that I am. I don't mind rock and roll, but I'm not a plant. <laughs> well, at least not in this thing, Connie. <laughs> anyway, another one. Uh, are you ever aware of the consciousness of animals? You feel like you know them. See, this is so interesting because you're not foreign to this type of thing. You're very familiar with it. All right, let's try another one. Now, this is maybe a little more ambiguous, but I think it makes some sense. Have you ever been aware of the consciousness of machinery, of your car, that somehow or other there is a consciousness there that relates to you? As you get to know the car, it seems somehow to thrive better when you drive it than when anybody else does. I don't know. Uh, did you find this type of thing interesting, or shall I just bypass it? Uh, I, I don't mind it making a difference to me whether uh, we uh, bypass it or not, but I'll give you another couple. No harm, I guess. Uh, now, here's one. Have you ever felt you had a spirit guide? A lot of people have. In other words, uh, that someone or something on the other side of you somehow is watching over your life to protect you. The other day, I, and this is absolutely gospel truth, I was driving along uh, in the car and somehow my mind was distracted and I was, I, there was a car in front of me and it was a busy freeway and I knew I was going to run right smack into that car in the back. There wasn't a possi any possibility. Something, I don't know what it was, suddenly grabbed that wheel and zoomed right around it. This is a good a mile. But I said, thank you, spirit guy. And I met it. All right, another one. Have you ever seen a ghost? Ha ha, quite a few have, all right. Have you ever experienced a pulling ice? All right, I think there's a couple more here that maybe... Have you ever seen a UFO? All right. Uh, have you ever related to parallel worlds? 
that you somehow, I don't know if this ever happened to you, but it has to me. And I, it's a strange thing. I found myself walking one time down a hallway, and there were throngs coming by right towards me. And I was walking through them just like they were phantoms. But they were just as tangible with my consciousness as any actual group of people. You know what I'm talking about, Shelley. All right. And a couple more here, and we'll be done. We are going to now show you a little experiment that I think you may find one you can do for yourself. Uh, I'm going to take five objects and put them on this table. Here's a glass of water, and here's a crystal ball, and here is a, a, a brass bowl. And let's get another object. Here's a clock. That's all right. And maybe we can use, uh, no, that's a little big, I think, for our purpose. Suppose we use this silver bowl. Is it over there. Party? Now, Perfect. I'm going Perfect. to be the one who acts as the medium in this experiment. And here's what the experiment is. I'm going to have a total stranger come up on the stage and uh, make a choice to one of these objects. I want you all to know what it is. Suppose it was this one in the middle. It would be held up and you'd all see it. Then it'd be placed down and I'm going to ask the person to rearrange the objects on the table in any, any formation they want. Then I have to come back and I have to endeavor to get an impression as to which the object was in the case as it may be. Uh, so that we know there's no, uh, let's say, deception about this because this is done by uh, what is called idiomotor response, of picking up an impulse. Uh, I would like to have someone who, who, uh, who, and someone I know possibly, or some stranger making a difference, I just want them to place their hands over my eyes and over my ears, so uh, while this is being done. First of all, who would like to be the scientist in this experiment? Uh, you, sir, you're right in the front row here. Would you be my, my, my guest? Uh, we haven't arranged this at all. This is purely off the cuff, as it were, if you will, please. Just come right up here. All right, fine. And I will go over this side over here, and uh, with uh, some... Uh, uh, it'd be much more fun to do this with a lady instead of a gentleman. Uh, uh, how about you? You be the lady in this in this case. All you have to do is put your hand over my eyes, over my ears, so that you know that there's no there's no uh, deception whatsoever in this experiment. All right. Uh, by the way, um, what, what is your name, please? Corey. Are you having a good time? Right. All right, fine. Now, uh, now I'll explain again what we're going to do. Five objects. We put this away. Five objects. I want you to select any one. Hold it up. Let the audience see it, what it is. And then we... Foreman, I'm going to check your tracking. I hear a little noise. Check the tracking. And then when I'm huh? done, just notify me and I'll turn around. But uh, I'll put the glasses on the table. And uh, so that there's no possibility of deception here, place your hand over my eyes and... Uh, we have another lady here, too. Uh, gentlemen, this is a thing you should learn how to do. Uh, uh, all right, you stand behind me. Put your hand over my ears. All right. Now we've cut off, we've cut off the auditory sensibility, and uh, now we're going to cut off the, uh, the visual credibility. All right, sir, you go ahead now and arrange them in any order that you want, and that'll be fine. And when you're, when you're through, you just let, let me know, and I will turn around. Let the audience see that when you, you see like this, so we can all be in the experiment together, and uh, uh, rearrange them in a line, any formation you desire. I, is he is he through yet? Has that been done? Uh, I have the slightest idea, but you would have better idea than me. So you let me know when he's ready. He's ready. He's ready. All right. Now I don't want you to go down. I want you to stay right here. Huh? May I go down? Uh, may you go down? So if I may help you, uh, be very careful down the steps. That'll be fine. All right, now, what I have to do is place my hands one by one over the five objects. And I have to discern the 
when you select it. Okay? Hold my wrist, if you will. Just for a moment. That'll suffice, I think. Again, please. <laughs> That's all right. This one. Is that right? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Very, very much. That's why we find it. Uh, I'm. Uh...